Great. If you had to be someone who lives in the cantina, who isn't human. Oh man, like uh Max Rebo, he's he's cool. He's the Duke Duke man. No, actually no, Max Rebo's in Jabba's palace. Oh. He's the big blue elephant boy. Oh yeah, he's great. Um, he's too good for the cantina. Uh can I transplant someone else? I want to be Firm Scissor Punch. <laughs> Best Star Wars character ever. Yeah, it's a shame. I can't wait to see the director's cut of Solo to get more of my boy, Firm Scissor Punch. I love him. He just, he's just he got a punny name. He's a crab man. <laughs> yep. He's just got so much going on. And they they screwed him over, Ben. They just yeah. didn't put him in They just at all. hacked him out of the edit. Like, what the hell? Like Maybe the- he was a nightmare to work with. Oh yeah, yeah, massive diva. Yeah, um, and they were just, like, "I don't want him getting his like two percent, man." Like, God damn you, firm. Oh man, speaking of which, did you hear about um, David Prowse? Uh, the guy who was the Green Cross c- Country Code man. Yeah, yeah, famous, famous large boy, uh, piloted the Darth Vader suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he hates Star Wars because he feels slighted. Oh yeah, yeah, you would. Um, like no one ever. Apparently, he says he didn't find out that they weren't using his voice until he went to see it at the premiere. What? And he, Surely not. Which I find hard to believe. <laughs> Surely someone would have told him. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, you know, I bet he got paid less. Like. Oh yeah. They because they, really they just, you know how many people have got the silky smooth tones of James James, James Earl Jones? Jones and how many people are big. Uh, <laughs> Do you yeah, know exactly. what I mean? Like, there's definitely a um, exactly Ben. There's a you know supply and demand issue here. Um, um, but and the other reason he feels slighted, again, you know he he may have already lied. So take this with a pinch of salt. Yeah. Um, he says he was t- he was told he'd have like a a very small percentage cut of the profits oh. because on the first film they couldn't afford to pay very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, sure. So like Alec Guinness got a very large percent of the profits and Star Wars made him a millionaire. Yeah, wasn't that like the the like smart thing, super smart thing he did? He was like, I want I'll take more in profits than in just uh you know yeah. wage because he was like a proper actor. He had an Oscar at that point and stuff. Like he was serious business. He was real. He was they, a real boy. They wanted him to talk some real nonsense. So <laughs> <laughs> real space wackiness. <laughs> yeah. Um so he says he did the same thing. But he got like hoodwinked because Alec Guinness got a percentage of the gross, which oh, means like before and he, expenses. Did he get the net? And yeah, oh. pros got the net, which due to Hollywood can- accounting. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no film ever fucking makes a profit. No, Star Wars has still yet to make a profit, and every year, David Prowse gets a little letter sent from the like Lucas Art, Lucas Film accountant saying. Once again, bad year for Star Wars. Unfortunately, your percentage of zero um, means you get paid zero. This you got year. zero. Actually, you owe us money. <laughs> yeah. Give us all your convention appearance money, please. Oh my Take god! Oh. Um, oh and he's he's very bitter about it. Yeah, I can kind of I can kind of get it. I kind of get it. Um, you would be you would be a little sad. Um, sad for getting tricked. Yeah, the old. Trixie Star Wars people. What a boy. What a poor boy. Have you ever seen the um the behind the scenes footage of like before they've done like the audio and the special effects? Oh my god, yes. Star Wars? Yes, I love it. I like the uh you know, Alderon explosion where it's just like uh the guy holding up a thing and then someone's just like bang bang <laughs> and he's <laughs> yeah. like, ah, oh, wow. Yeah, they re- really improved it, huh? It really, like, it really kind of like came together. Oh, my favourite bit is because David oh, Prowse has got like a fuck. real uh, West Country farmer farmer's accent. Yeah, he does. And so he's just like, All right now, Princess Leia. <laughs> yeah, you were part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Part Take- of a, part of the Rebel Alliance. <laughs> Take uh, her away. Yeah, really good. <laughs> it's just not menacing at all. <laughs> yeah, that accent, not quite as spooky. Um, uh, apparently, he went to uh, my friend's school oh. um, when he became the Green Cross Code Man um, oh. and gave a Green Cross Code talk about, you know, cross the road properly. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> oh, God. Or I'll, or I'll force trick you. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, but kids would pay way more attention to that. Yeah. Um, 
if he turned up as Vader um, and told people to behave, then just he's tall. And everyone's like, do the Vader voice, do the Vader <laughs> voice. And he's like, that's not how I talk. That would be really sad, wouldn't it? Being famous for something that you can't even, like, show off. Yeah. Outside of just like, yes, I am tall. Oh, Tom, you broke you broke my chest. My half-built chest. Yeah, you did. And you've scattered the materials to the winds. Was there chests in there? I've got materials on me. Like, I put all my um, clovers and sap in them. Oh, uh, yeah, I picked that stuff up. Um, do we not get like uh, are there not like half walls in this, like fences or something? Uh, I don't know. Man, we need like a good source of of, uh, of weed. <laughs> Fuck me, God. What? Okay, every single time I want to rotate something, by default I press R, and R fucking throws your thing. And oh, I've been trying to place Jesus. um, like roof things. And so I'm always aiming up, and so, God, you uh, fucking launch your your tool a billion miles uh, away. Jesus. Like, it even says on the screen what item, uh, what, like, button it is to press. And I still fuck it up, Ben. Every single time. Well, you know, we don't read instructions. Ugh, reading? You know, Gross. How do you think we are? Gross. Right? I found this out the other day. Weed is, a, like, a meaningless word. Oh. Um... It is a. The definition of a weed is something you don't want growing there. Oh. So, like, some people are like, oh, yeah, you know, clovers, they're a weed, because I, I just want grass. I don't want clovers. Okay. And then other people are like, no, I like clovers. They're oh. not a weed. Oh. Okay, that's all a bit open to interpretation. Yeah, I don't like how fuzzy it is. Yeah, I need, like, something a little. A little more tangible. I need to know what what to purge. Exactly. When the purges come, I need to know what we're purging. Who's, yeah. God, this is like turning into a bit of like a desolate wasteland now. Does it ever respawn? Do you think? The grass. Yeah. Surely not. Do you think there's like a finite amount of grass in this world? Can we just like the desolation of Tom? Wow. Yeah. The house? Like, okay. I like that. We could go on a mission to destroy all before us. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 794. This is us cutting down all the grass. <laughs> is that... I is that what people know. want? I don't know, I'm really out of touch these days. I feel like someone in the comments is going to be like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll listen to Tom and Ben do this forever. And like, oh my god, you say that now. Yeah. 400 episodes time. Wait till we've done, you know, 10% of this garden. Yeah. And we just want to kill ourselves. This is, yeah, we are just not not going to make a ton of progress here. Oh, do you have clovers? There's some in some of the boxes. Oh, I found, I found like just shitloads. Bonk. Tonk. I don't know if it's worth moving, moving the storage around. Should we just... Uh, no, no, it was, um, uh, I'm making a roof. We're in the Yogg's cast, Tom. We're not allowed to make roofs. What? It's the rule. Is that the thing? Yeah, Lewis always refuses. Oh, really? Famously. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's what I've been told. Uh, that's crazy. Especially when there's spiders around. Yeah. Spider, spider climb. Spider climb good. Theoretically. Uh, <laughs> well, oh yeah. Every time I've escaped a spider, it's... By climbing up something, <laughs> and it just looks at you like, <laughs> Keep you out, fox me this time, Ben. <laughs> Next time, gadgets. There probably are like certain breeds of spider that can't climb. That's crazy. That's madness. I don't believe it. Yeah, like there's you know there's birds that don't fly, right? What? No, I guess like penguins and shit. Yeah. Yeah, but are they really birds? Uh, are they really? Yeah. Well, like an ostrich. Is that is that a bird? What do you think it is? Deep down. Is it a bird? It Look into your heart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I don't think you can apply that rule to everything. There are some birds that don't fly. Therefore, I feel like, you know, spy all spiders must be able to climb. Like, to some degree. 
Let us know in the comments of the famous... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, okay, right. Well, it's just going to be whichever nerd Googles, Googles it, it first. first. Yeah, exactly. And then comes in and just posts the Wikipedia thing. It's like, oh, yes, I knew this already. Like, did you? Yeah. There's the famous um, Sclorbian floor spider. Ah, the Sclorbian floor spider. <laughs> you idiot. Did you not know of that one? <laughs> you don't know about the Sclorbians. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't, Ben. I don't know about the Sclorbians. Aha. I've... I've invented spider fang daggers. Nice. Is it take a spider fang and stab someone with it? Yeah, I don't know why I hadn't thought of that until I'd put um, venom gland into the science machine. Oh. It does my thinking for me. Oh, yeah. I can't think on my own anymore. That that makes sense. I do, I do think that's happened to me, actually. Every time I have, like, a problem, the first thing I do is just type my problem into Google. Like, yeah. I've completely lost the ability to, like think for myself on that well you know just smarter people have come up with the uh, better ideas faster right yeah that's it i don't want to reinvent the wheel although i feel like whoever invented the wheel like was it that hard i don't know like if you'd never had the concept of a wheel before i reckon it's pretty i think the wheel's pretty fucking sharp actually yeah yeah like if you just don't know about that shit yeah it's hard to say isn't it like because part of me feels like i would have just invented that immediately but Maybe that's just hindsight kicking in. Yeah, yeah, because you're so used to, like, wheels. But in the future, when they're like, Boom! The Heptagon! It's the new shape that's even <laughs> better than wheels! How do those guys just use, like, a circle uh, for so long? What a bunch of scrubs. Heptagon! <laughs> um, and it's, like, some, like, 4D shape that we just oh can't even, God. like, comprehend. Come and have a sleep. Okay. I did have to smash one of the beds. Oh. Oh, we'll just cuddle up together. Then. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we've done that most nights. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, what, what is your what is Ben Quest at the moment? Well, I've finished. We've got two crates now. Um, crates can just hold so much stuff. I'm Very unloading. good. I'm unloading all my business, and I've got a little canteen full of full of tropical. Tropical. I'm sorting out my inventory. Then I don't know. What do you want me to do? Shall I just um? Shall I help you out? Shall I like? Just start chopping down grass? What do you need? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, just goofing around, really. If you find a ladybird on your adventures... Destroy it. Uh, well, call, call me over. Sound the horn. Little doodorino calls for aid. Yeah, 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 yeah. And hopefully, hopefully Tom answers. And I remember the first time I watched um, Lord of the Rings. I hadn't read the books yet. And um, I genuinely thought... Um, Boromir's horn was going to like be magic and do something cool and then when he blew it at the end and he was in trouble I was like oh yeah he's been carrying this around all movie can't wait to see like you know what fucking dragon flies out of it or something and then uh, nothing just just nothing just nothing <laughs> it was just a horn yeah then, but it's the horn of Gondor it's like I know but it, they, that's it I expected the iconic. horn of Gondor to like be more of a thing I'm not I mean now I'm not I don't care but like at the time I was kind of disappointed because I'd like bigged it up in my own mind. Yeah. But, which was um, my own fault. Like, the movie hadn't really, like, <laughs> like, given me any reason to think that it would be. I hadn't done that to you. Yeah. I feels, I feels for you, Ben. It's funny, isn't it, how, like, your expectations can, like, really change how you feel about something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. It's why I hate when, like, I don't like getting spoilers for stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, people who are like, oh, don't worry, this isn't a spoiler. And like, even like some minor things, minor details that you tell me will still be spoilers. Yeah, because um, then I'll have like opinions about what if I like that the sound of that or not. And then when it happens, I'll be like, yeah, change how I feel about it. Yeah, like uh, when um, I was playing Death Stranding, mm -hmm. uh, someone had said like, oh, have you met like this character yet? They're my favourite character in the game. I was just like, yeah, I have met them. I don't... Like, why would this person be someone's favourite character? They've done basically nothing. And then, forevermore, any scene that they were in, I was just like, okay, right. Why would they be... What so, are they going to do? Something's about to go down. They're going to yeah, do a thing. I'm always expecting them to do something, and... It makes it harder to, like, enjoy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, and then you don't... You couldn't, like, come to that conclusion... The same conclusion yourself, like, organically. Um, and, yeah, it's kind of, like, kind of wacky. Um, I don't know. But then again, sometimes, like, having people... You know, you need recommendations. I need to know, like... Oh, God, yeah, there's so much stuff out there that's just not worth the time likes, watching. Likes a thing. 
Um, yeah, I'm torn because also like I love watching trailers. Trailers are really fun. Yeah. And sometimes I just go on a binge and watch like go, go through YouTube and watch like ten trailers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. But also, that really then changes how I feel about a film. And then like you'll the moment they're in like the car chase, you're like, oh, is this the bit where they're gonna do the thing that I saw in the trailer? And that really sucks me out of the film. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know that. And I can't decide. If I love trailers too much, <laughs> no, I do. Stop watching them or not? Because some trailers are mega spoilery. Like, um, I was lucky enough to watch Terminator Two um, without having seen the trailer because that was like before the internet, and I was like surprised when uh, Arnie was the good guy. You know, there's that scene where he's walking down the hallway and like the the cop is oh, coming yeah, towards John Connor yeah. in one direction, and Arnie comes around from the other direction, and you're like. What is going to happen? Like, you he know, was bad who, before, what's happening but here? Because like, he Arnie was good. the bad guy in the first um, one. Yeah, but and then and it was like, you know, you could the film was being coy about it and wouldn't, wouldn't wasn't making obvious which one was going to try and shoot John Connor, and it was like a tense moment. Yeah, it's a great like bit in the the thing. But yeah, like if you've seen the if you've seen the trailer, then you know exactly what the fuck is going on. Yeah, and then that seems completely pointless, and all the build up is pointless. But like the Terminator franchise has got like a long history of doing that. Every single trailer has spoiled the twist in the Terminator's films. Yeah, what were the twists in the other Terminator movies? Well, shall I just spoiler? Yeah, fuck it. So in the one where um, Daenerys is Sarah Connor. Okay, I didn't see this one, but you can spoil it because I have. Because yeah, I don't yeah, know. I, yeah, like, don't I'm, I'm a bit like out really of good. the later later members of the Terminator franchise. So um, in that one, it turns out right at the end. John Connor is the baddie, and he turns into like a swarm of nanobot terminators. What? But they, but that happens right near the end, okay. and it's in the trailer. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> wow. And you just think, well, you know, that's that's a big reveal. <laughs> like you, uh, you, literally third act twist of like completely flipping the film on its head. Just show me that in the trailer, why don't you? Yeah, that is a bit a bit bonkers. And um, the bit with you know the one that's set in the in the future, but it looks nothing like the future in all of the flashbacks. With the the uh, Mecha Eels. Yeah, Mecha Eels Terminator. Mecha Eels, yeah. The love Mecha Eels. So in that one, there's this twist near the end, well, well maybe about two-thirds of the way in, or halfway through, that <gasps> the main guy that we've been watching the whole time, he's half human, half Terminator. Oh my god. Was he? God, I don't remember that at all. Um, But they, they, they put that in the trailer. <laughs> um... Whoa! What's up? Uh, I walked up some stairs and it launched me across the map. Uh, not massively across the map. It launched. It just flew me. Oh shit! Um, are, you, are you okay? Did yeah, you yeah, yeah. No, everything's everything's fine. Everything's great. What's your? Have you like got like a, a favorite movie trailer? A movie trailer that you've seen recently? I guess that's like a weird one to think about. Like, oh man, that's a great trailer. Yeah, I don't know actually. There must be because like, a, a good trailer one. is like something that is like. Gets you hyped for the film, but doesn't give too much of the film away. Yeah. You know, you want, like, probably something without too much, like, dialogue or too much, like, continuous scenes. Probably some great music. I really enjoyed their Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. Oh, that had, like, a good soundtrack. That was that was a fun song with, like, some wacky hijinks, and you got a really good vibe for what that film was going to be like, but you didn't actually really know too much about what was going on. Yeah, actually, man, like, with a good soundtrack, they get a good, like, song in there. Mm. Um and something gets like you kind of like kind of kind of pumping exactly and then after that like all the trailers were copying that i remember the suicide squad trailer that came out like a few months later was because originally suicide squad did like a much moodier trailer like an early trailer oh yeah that was before like the big re re edits before the re-edit yeah then guardians of the galaxy came out and everyone loved it and so then they made the trailer the new trailer, it was like a 180. It was like, we'll make it look exactly like Guardians of the Galaxy. We'll put all the jokes from the film in. We'll put a fun, lively, like, redo of a pop classic. And just do do that style. And it was it was a lie. That wasn't what the film was like at all. <laughs> they just wanted to, to trick you. Yeah, like, cash in on some of that, like, oh my god, that movie did great. Yeah, Maybe that... our movie can do great as well. Do you remember when um, Inception... <laughs> yeah, God. Like, yeah, I'd rather... Fade to black for five seconds between each fucking scene in the trailer. Half the trailer is just black screen. Yeah. Ugh, I got so bored of, like, that being the thing everyone just did. every movie. That got so tedious. 
Like, I got so, so done with that. Yeah, I'd rather just like the fun, like, just, you know, remix of a song, or just like a great classic song, be in the thing instead, rather yeah. than just... Wah. And, man, I know it's meant to be, like, moody and builds, like, tension to have, like, the black screen for a couple of seconds, but I get legitimately bored, <laughs> like, waiting for these black fades to, like, go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that says more about me than the trailer. 